Leaders in the city of San Diego, meantime, one step closer to adopting a new ordinance that would strengthen renter protections in America's finest city. It would also offer more compensation for no-fault evictions. City Council just held its second hearing on that proposal. And Fox 5 Sarah Allegri joins us live outside City Hall with what this means for both tenants and landlords. Sarah. Yeah, Maria Phil, city leaders approved this ordinance just last month, and they say with evictions at a five year high, this is one of the best ways to tackle homelessness here in our community. But with any major decision like this, there are two sides to every story, and not everyone's on board. I think what it's going to do is it's going to prevent potentially more people to falling into homelessness. It's been a long sought after fight over renter protection for senior housing attorney Gil Vera with Legal Aid Society of San Diego. For you know about two and a half years, the city of San Diego tenants have had the least amount of protect protections in the entire state. Now a new ordinance will bring the city up to and beyond state standards by protecting renters from day one of their lease, offering financial assistance when a lease is cut short and through holding landlords accountable and it's not just that tenants who are evicted for no fault would be entitled to two months of relocation assistance that the landlord has to pay or three months if there's an elderly or disabled person in the household. But because it goes further than state law, others worry it may create newfound concerns. I think we have to be mindful of unintended consequences when you're requiring additional relocation. Um, that maybe disincentivizes some owners from keeping their rents below market. One landlord at Tuesday's second hearing before council called the move a nightmare, especially for mom and pop landlords. The way you got this written is that if I rent to somebody one day, I owe them a place to live for the rest of their lives. And uh, that's just a little harsh. But Allison Snow with the Housing Rights Project at USD says while the concerns are valid, this ordinance is more so aimed at holding this type of landlord to a higher standard. For those big corporate landlords who can absorb, uh, absorb the hit, and who have been the most egregious offenders in evicting um, without, without real reason to do so in the past, that's who this is impacting. Yeah, after today, this ordinance will then go onto Mayor Todd Gloria's desk and then goes into effect 30 days after he signs that dotted line. For now, that's the very latest from downtown. Sarah Allegre, Fox 5 News.